and Uh, hello, thanks, Jasmine. Thank you, everybody, for uh, giving up your evening and um, and joining us. Yeah, as Jasmine said, it's been a it's been a crazy three years since we um, since we launched Smartfast uh, with with two lockdowns and you know um, a worldwide recession and and various other things and deaths and all sorts and terrible things going on. So it's been a, it's been a roller coaster, and that has uh actually enabled us time to reflect and to learn and develop and we've had a lot of improvements uh, within the system uh, within the smartfast brand and there's just so much that's happened um that we thought it was the right time to get together and just give you a summary of everything that's that's been going on so that you guys all are up to speed on what is happening in the world of smartfast and how it can better improve your clinical practice and your uh, you know communication with your patients and, and help help everybody develop and, and get better smiles um so we're really looking forward to tonight um we think it's probably going to be about an hour and a half um with time for questions at the end so there's going to be lots and lots of questions uh, so as you go throughout um make a note of any questions and then we'll we'll open the floor up at the end and try to answer as many questions as possible and if there's anything that isn't covered or you feel that you want to email in a question then we will work our way through all of those and get back to you um so i'll pass you over to uh midi now and then i think we'll get started yeah so exactly that so just going through the logistics we're going to have the presentation first which is a summary of everything then we've got the um, Jasmine's got a bit that she she's going to share as well. Then we've got a question and answer session, and we've got a couple of special guests that we've invited to come and share their stories as well. So um, it is an interactive forum, as Tom said. So we've got down and below, you've got the question and answer session, and you've got the chat session um, section rather. Feel free to um, log in. We've got quite a few of our mentors on the call as well. They will be answering questions throughout. Um, and then if there's specific questions that one of the um, the panel needs to answer, we'll answer that at the end, if that's OK. So I think, Tom, over to you. You've got the screen share. Cool. Right. Do you want us to hide our our videos, Tom, or is that OK? No, I think I think that looks good. Yeah. Cool. OK. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing this um, um, virtually. So Tom and I are going to be telepathic when Tom knows when it's time to go into the next slide. But welcome, everyone, and thank you all for giving up your time. I know we're all busy. Um, so yeah, this is SmileFast taking it to the next level. And really, um, as, as we've already alluded to, we're really privileged to be in this position where, you know, three and a half, four years later, we're able to say that we've trained a lot of people, both in the UK and worldwide. And from this point, we, we now want to just give back some feedback, um, both from things that we've learned in our own clinical cases and case, cases from dentists all around the world. So obviously the UK is our main um, training area, but Australia and America um, are rapidly becoming sort of areas where SmileFast is becoming a concept that's accepted and utilized. Um, today, we're really going to talk about um, the developments with SmileFast Direct. But those of you that don't know, we've also developed a few different extra courses. So we've got SmileFast Indirect and also SmileFast Restore. So again, we'll sort of um, delve into a little bit about what they contain um, from there. Um, and we're also massively, massively proud of the team of people that we've got around us. So yes, Tom and I you know, came up with the concept together. And yes, it's not reinventing the wheel. It is good 
routine dentistry, but in a systemized way. But we're fortunate to now have a team of over 50 dentists and technicians and support staff that work with us to try and help make all our dentistry easier. Um, I was gonna say an embarrassing story about Jasmine. So first time I met Jasmine, she knows what's coming. Um, I had to sort of prove the concept to her and it was the single hardest interview or grilling that I've ever had. But I'm lucky to say that um, I think I passed and Jasmine's on the call today <laughs> as, um, as a friend, but also one of our um, amazing SmileFast um, mentors. She's actually taught more SmileFast um, courses than any of us, so Tom and myself, probably put together now. So she's kind of the go-to um, in terms of um, lecturing across the world. Um, again, some familiar faces and names that you'll see. And um, David Breton in the middle is hoping to join on the call later. And um, you'll see some cases from Dr. Minal um, in this. I think you've got some cases from Rajiv as well. So we're just really fortunate that these clinicians have sort of gone along the journey with us. And again, um, you know, I'm going to be honest. A lot of dentistry is about ego, about what we can do. The SmileFast team, it's not about that at all. It's just about sharing knowledge. And if it can make our dentistry better, hopefully it'll help your dentistry and also our patients' lives. So, you know, apologies if it's a bit cheesy, but that's really what we're about. And that's the ethos of SmileFast. Okay, so taking it to the next level, um, we've had now thousands of SmileFast cases completed and we've had feedback, okay? Some of it's been excellent, like perfect, and some of it hasn't been. And you've got to be honest enough to evaluate and research and redevelop what we've already got. And I'm really pleased to say that Tom and I, we've had a few arguments along the way, but we have come up with some new developments and some improvements. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the unique stent. Um, so it's a new stent, it's a new development on our stent design. So we took what was good in the stent and we've made it better. We're gonna talk a little bit about, oh, sorry. We're gonna talk a little bit about um, the stent design itself. We're gonna go through that. Tom will allude to it and we're gonna actually do a real life case. So you'll see the improvements we've made both in the metal matrices, um, the actual stent silicon itself. It's a scallop design, okay? Which means that you now have access to the excess of, um, of resin that comes. So you can remove that before it's cured, which is much, much easier, much faster. The separating strips are very specifically made. We have um, a formula and Jasmine's created a workflow for each of the technicians so that every stent is systemized and system, systematically made, okay? The outer carrier, again, Tom will explain a little bit more about that, but again, we've really thought about the design of this. So the new carrier is now more dimensionally stable, which means it's easier to place, easier to locate, but also the excess comes out in a more predictable way as well. Okay, so this is probably the first time many of you have seen it, but actually in the last maybe three weeks, we've been trialing it out. We have a, a, a SmileFast Center of Excellence where we've been sharing the cases with them and the feedback from the cases has been phenomenal. Tom and I have been using this then. I think Jasmine's using it for the last sort of six, seven months now. And again, you know, we're really impressed with the difference and the improvements it's made. So here you load your stent as normal, you place it. And then once you obviously place it, the, um, the, the scallop design is really what makes it easier to, um, to clean up, but the, um, the accuracy and the translucency of the stent mean it's also much easier to place and locate. So even if you've got more challenging cases, those of you that have already done SmileFast will have had some challenges, particularly if you have really long teeth with long contact points, we've improved that by using this technique. Okay, so I'm going to hand over to my far better dressed colleague, Tom. Let's see the stent in action. Okay, thanks, Billy. Uh, so I think I'm going to just do a, a sort of a case run through. Uh, it won't take long. It's, you know, some people on this call will have done smart fast. They would have done it recently and they're, they're coming on to learn some tips and tricks. Other people uh, may have gone on the course back in 2019, early 2020, and never ever done a case and they're coming back on to find out what it's all about what's changed and whether they want to uh, start doing it in their practice and, and sort of reinitiate that learning uh, from from those years ago so i'm just going to run through it all and for those of you that don't remember the first step is called smart fast design so this is where we assess our patients um, they come in we take our scans or we take our patty impressions we take our set of photographs and we submit it onto the smart fast portal uh, and then the SmileFast mentors will have a look at the case. And so the case will come in like this, and this is Iman, uh, she's 24 years old. 
Um, this will come to the portal and one of the mentors will look at it and they will look at the treatment plan that's been provided with it or sometimes lack of treatment plan. And they will communicate with the dentist through the portal for clarification. What do you want to achieve? What's the patient trying to achieve? What are the challenges? Um, and then we come up with a, a selection of options. And that's usually very, very helpful because some dentists are very, very experienced. They know exactly what they want to do. Other people, you know, they're not 100% sure. So it's quite good to have a very experienced dentist give their thoughts on a case and say, well, actually, this case is a really good pre-alignment case before veneers, or I wouldn't touch this case, uh, you know, with a barge pole because there's so many complicating factors that anything you try and do in comp composite potentially is going to fail. So there's lots of things to discuss first. So it's really nice to have that second set of eyes overseeing the case. And that's what the SmartFast design process is for, is to give that reassurance and that support to the dentists. Um, and then the second part, the second thing we do is we actually take uh, Iman and we have a look at her smile and we say, okay, well, let's let's diagnose this smile. What, what's wrong with it? What can we improve? And we can see that we've got some uneven size edges. Uh, we've got a, a little bit of um, crowding, not a lot. Uh, the teeth aren't perfectly aligned. Uh, we've got narrow buccal corridors and we've got instanding premolars with uh, a bit of excess gum. So the ideal in this situation would be to level the incisal edges and make that look balanced with the lips and the eyes, make the teeth look a bit whiter, widen the buccal corridors and perhaps do a little bit of gum recontouring on those premolars so that we can bring those uh, premolars out and just give her a fuller uh, and wider, more balanced smile. So we have a picture of Iman there before. And if you closely look at her teeth they will by magic transform to a suggested perfect set of teeth now this is a two-dimensional mock-up so it's a, called a motivational mock-up if we zoom in you can see it's a very very realistic uh end aesthetic and this is what we're predicting the smile will look like and it's trying to fix all those problems that we have addressed so you can then show this to your patient and say well, you know what do you like this does this uh, picture make you feel that if you have a smile like that you feel confident is that something you'd like to achieve and and it opens that conversation with them now it may be that they can't achieve this until they've had some alignment first so you can use this to, to help show them what could be but they're not quite there yet and you can use it to motivate them to see the hygienist to have the alignment to get those fillings at the, on the back teeth done whatever it might be and use this as their endpoint, use this as their goal. Okay, so it's a really, really good motivational tool and helps the patient connect with the with the plan smile design. Uh, we will send a before and after image like this. So it's a really, really nice PDF format and you can send that across to the patient so they can see it. And then you can do a Zoom call very much like we're doing and, and chat with them about it. Or you can get them to come in or get TCA to chat to them and sort of discuss the options. And, and that's why the design process is so important. And we do find that the, the dentists who are doing really, really beautiful smile makeovers do go through all three processes, design and refine, and then the final um, smile fast direct. And by doing that, they're not cutting corners and they're giving the patient the full workflow and the patient's on board with that smile. And they ultimately are um, planning the smile alongside the dentist. So when they do get it delivered, they're getting exactly what they want. So it's, it's a really important stage. Um, now, after that, the patient says, yeah, I really like that. Let's go ahead. We then move to the second stage and this is called Smile Fast Refine. So this is when you then take that 2D mock-up and you turn it into a 3D representation of the smile. Now the 3D mock-up uh, is a, a virtual mock-up. We send that to you on ExoCAD, which is within the portal. You will then be able to look at it, move it around in three dimensions. You verify that when you're happy with it. And then we will send you um, a 3D printed model, which you can see in the screen, that's the black model. We will also send the putty trial smile stent. So you can call the patient back in and you can actually trial it in their mouth. And at the same time, to save clinic time, we can send whitening trays and we can send uh, the smile fast whitening gel. So when the patient comes in, you can do everything at the same time, give them the tooth whitening, get them on that journey towards whiter teeth and you trial the smile and you make sure everything looks good. So this is a okay, video. So you just had your uh, smile fast trial smile placed mm -hmm. and you're going to see your teeth for the first time. Are you excited? Yeah, very excited. Okay, so I'm going to ask you to have a look in the mirror in a second and just tell us what you think of your smile. So when you're ready, if you can go and have a look. Okay. Oh my gosh. It looks really good. Oh my gosh. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm really shocked. It looks so nice. I love that. Thank you. So, what do you think of that? Yeah, it looks really, really good. Really good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're really straight and really white. Okay, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And how does the speech sound to you? Does it sound normal? Yeah, sounds fine. Sounds normal. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> and then um, can you just count backwards from 10? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Perfect. And there's no lisps or anything like that? No, no lisps. when you're whiting up and down, how does that feel? Yeah, feels fine. Big smile? Excellent. <laughs> Thank you, America. Thank you. So it's really important um, to spend the time on the trial smile. It's not just for the aesthetics uh, to make sure that everything looks good. You're also assessing the speech. Uh, in many situations, you might be adding some length to the incisor teeth and that can affect the speech. It's really important that you, that you look at that uh, and spend the time on the cleanup of the refine because if there is any excess that goes palatally, it just needs to be removed. Um, because otherwise the patient's going to focus on the negative things. They're going to feel the excess. They're going to feel the lumps that spilled over onto, you know, the, the molar teeth, something like that. And they're going to focus on that and they're not going to enjoy um, the, the new smile. So spend the time cleaning it up, get it looking as nice as possible, check the bite, make sure that you're happy with it and then sit them up and then film them. And, and that's what we always do. We always film them because that reaction is so genuine. That's the first time that she saw her smile uh, and, and it really is a, a wonderful moment. So if you can record that, you can then give that to your patients to take home with them. They can show friends and family and they can get verification and validation from the, the people important to them that their smile is what they want it to be. Um, and then you can use it for your websites because if, as long as you get their permission, videos like that are so powerful. They're so much nicer to have a video um, showing, you know, the emotions of a patient when they see their, their transformation, as opposed to just before and afters. It, it really is a, a lot nicer for, for the patient coming onto your website to decide whether they want to see you or not. OK, so let's look at her teeth. She's got lovely teeth. OK, she has nice teeth. They are uh, an A1-2 shade. Um, she's got a little bit of where she's got a little bit of fluorosis, a little bit of striations on the teeth. Um, you know, the, the gum positioning is not symmetrical. The uh, premolar positioning is not ideal, but overall she's got nice teeth. Now this is a really, really good starter case for SmartFast. So if you haven't done a case before, this is the kind of case that you want to look for because we're not doing drastic changes. We're doing facial surface veneers only. And that's really where SmartFast shines because you're just enhancing the shape of the teeth. You're not trying to do anything too dramatic, not trying to uh, you know, rehabilitate the mouth. You've got a healthy uh, mouth with good quality teeth. They need a little bit of whitening, they need a little bit of straightening, and they need a little bit of symmetry adjustment. And that is perfect for SmartFast. And if you look at the shape of the teeth, you can see that the, they have nice wide incisal embrasures, and that's gonna facilitate those separating strips sliding up between the teeth. So it's, this is the kind of case that we're looking for, okay? So when the patient comes in, we are going to isolate the teeth with PTFE. And if you remember, we are placing a thin uh, layer of PTFE down into the sulcus, not to retract the gums, but just to block them from composite going down underneath uh, and in the sulcus. Now, it very much depends on the um, biotype of the patient. If you've got very, very tight gums, um, very thin biotype, then there's probably no need to use any PTFE. Um, Iman, she probably had a medium biotype. So I took my length of PTFE tape, I cut it in half lengthways. So I took 30 centimeters and I cut it down the middle. So I had two pieces that were half as thick. And then I used that and I went around her teeth with that. And you can see, I've just tucked it below the gums. I've not packed it in to retract the gums out of the way because we want to keep those gums at their same resting position. We just want to place that, that uh, PTFE as a barrier just below the gums. And you can see I've done a little bit of gingival surgery with the laser uh, on the upper right lateral tooth and also on the premolar teeth as well. Uh, and I've just improved the symmetry of the gums. So I did that on the day. Um, and then this is what it actually looks like in real life. So you can see I'm actually doing 10 teeth. I'm doing the mesial of the six. The five, the fours are missing, three, two, one, one, two, three, fours missing, five, and the mesial of the six. So you can see how I've isolated, and then I'm placing the stent. The stent is loaded, and I'm placing it 
So the palatal seats first and then the front kind of comes down and onto the teeth. And I think this is where a lot of people make mistakes. They don't place it with enough force and they do it too quickly. This is sped up at about four times speed. And as you can see, I'm just holding it and I'm wiggling it, holding and wiggling. And I'm moving my thumbs and I'm pushing my thumbs around the stent all the way around it to make sure it's fully seated. And this is the huge advancement with this new stent is that now the silicon is so much thinner, you can see so much easier about placing it. It really is incredible how easy it is to place because you because you haven't got all this thick excess of silicon blocking you. And then you saw with my probe, I was able to move around the margins and clear away the excess. And so this is the picture of this particular case on Iman being uh, cured. So where you can see that scalloping, so you've got the hard outer shell on the outside, but the scalloping actually goes up towards the, the gum margins and into proximally. So when you take a, an Explorer probe, you can angling it up between the teeth and you can work away around and remove any excess. So by the time you cure, there is no excess to be removed because you've removed it all, okay? And as you can see, you, there's no way we can now not seat the stent fully because you can fully see that it's it's seated and because it, the shape of the teeth fits the, the, the teeth underneath you can see exactly that it's all the way down it cannot go any further uh it's been fully seated you've removed the excess you spent that time holding it in position and only then do you do your cure and this is what it looks like on removal so as you can see we've got perfect anatomy and texture in all those teeth so they are done the teeth are finished all i need to do is pull those separating strips out and remove that little bit of excess around the gums but because of the tent the stent being so tight to the teeth that excess just flakes away so this next slide is just showing what a sickle scaler does so you just run a sickle scaler around the margins and that excess just flakes away because it's not attached to anything there is no big thick volume of excess it's a very very thin flash and it just flakes away so you can just remove it away with a stickle scaler and it and it's and it's done very easy and never ever forget this essential step which is our uh curing under oxygen inhibiting gel because if we don't we will get staining of our composites okay and as you can see i'm using two different lights because if one of them is not working as well as it could be then hopefully the other one will pick up the slack. And I always use two lights on my cures because I never trust that one light is always gonna be working 100% because it might have some composite on it, the battery power might be getting low, uh, you know, the clinical assistant might have dropped it just before you, know, you started your treatment. So we always have two lights and we, we do every single tooth twice with both lights. And that way we're making sure we're curing the composite as well as we possibly can. And we will go into composite curing a little bit later and its importance, okay? Then we refine the margins. So we've got our, our finishing protocol, that remains the same. Uh, we have our 889 burr, which is our very fine burr. Uh, and then we do now also have a couple of other burrs that we recommend that you purchase, um, which is the 12 flute and 30 flute tungsten carbide mosquito burrs. Um, and they are, I think they're called the TR15 or something like that. Uh, they're very good at getting down between the teeth as well. But to be honest, this 889 burr is a really, really good burr and it, and it works really well. You can see I'm just removing the excess, just getting into proximally, making sure there's no ledges. Uh, I'll go down between the teeth with the finishing strips. Um, and then when I'm happy, I'll give everything a polish up and then I'll remove my PTFE. If I've been gentle, you can see my PTFE is in one long piece okay so i'm not taking my burrs down into the sulcus and shredding my ptfe into a thousand pieces i'm just removing the excess and then the ptfe just lifts away okay and that's how it should be so it's a gentle process if you find that you're shredding your ptfe into lots of pieces you're probably just being a little bit too aggressive with how you're you're taking your burrs and taking them a little bit too far down into the sulcus however as you can see you do get a lot of bleeding and that's due to that uh, capillary pressure and the change when you pull that PTFE out, this huge rush of blood comes into those tiny little capillaries and that's when they all burst and you get the bleeding. So you do all obviously have to warn the patients about that. But within five minutes, we're at this point. So this is five minutes later, everything's been polished, occlusion has been checked, 
um, and I'm happy to let the patient leave at this stage. And then she will return in two weeks for my final polish, my final checks of occlusion. I'll also assess aesthetically, make sure everything's balanced, any slight incisal edge uh, changes once the lips uh, are no longer numb and she's smiling normally. Sometimes I adjust the incisal edges and I'll also check all the margins. And if we need to go back and refine the margins, then I, the, the two week review, I will place some anesthetic and I will go back and I will refine the margins. And this is her at her two week review. So you can see we've got lovely texture, lots of lovely anatomy, very, very shiny. Gums still need a little bit of work in a couple of areas. So we will be talking about oral hygiene and she'll be coming back and I will be going through everything once more with her to make sure that she is looking after them as best as she can. But after two weeks, you can see where I did the laser surgery, that's healing up really, really nicely. So I'm expecting these to look fantastic by about um, six to eight weeks, they should be healed up and looking perfect. So that's the walkthrough of Iman. There's the before and after. So just take a look at that case. So you can see the before is on the bottom of the screen. So we've got nice teeth, uh, started off about an A1, A2 shade. Um, we've got wide incisal embrasures um, and we are aiming to improve gingival symmetry, uh, incisal edge symmetry, uh, general shape of the teeth and improvement in colour. And that's where Smilefast really shines. Very, very thin facial surface veneers, which will last a really, really long time uh, if done following the sequence. And there's the before and after. There, and that is her at her two week review. So you can see it's a really, really lovely, bright white smile. She's very, very happy. Um, if you wanna watch the videos of her and talking about her treatment, then you can visit my practices website because they're all on there. Uh, but she's really happy and, and already referring people, uh, sisters and friends and things like that. Um, because you can see it's, it's made such a difference to her smile and it's just, it's just filled it out really nicely. And that treatment took uh, two hours. So 10 teeth, two, and that was with the gingival surgery, uh, local anaesthetic, all the photography, uh, everything was two hours from start to finish. Um, so that is our new stent. So it is obviously uh, far better in the fact that you can see everything you're doing as you're placing it because that silicon is so much thinner and because of the scallop design you really can see what you're doing so as you're placing it you can see where the teeth are you can see the separating strips and you can see that everything's lined up um, because of the, the thinner silicon you've got a lot deeper light penetration within the stent so when you're using your light guns your lights aren't held so far away from the composite so you're getting a much better depth of cure um, the scalloping is obviously incredible because you can remove all the excess prior to curing which just means the cleanup is so much better and then finally that outer carrier has been made twice as thick so it's really really rigid so when the stent seats it locks down fully and you know that all the restorations underneath that, were, that are held within that silicon are dimensionally stable, which allows you to do so much more with the stent. So when you do get proficient with it, you can start doing um, occlusal surfaces and sizal edges and you, know, you can move into more advanced restorations and you can be assured that you're gonna get that dimensional stability and that exact replication from the wax up to the final restoration, which is so important. And, and um, some of our, our users who've now been using for a couple of years are now using SmartFast as part of their day-to-day their -day full mouth rehabilitation approaches because of that um, accuracy. Uh, but for new users, like the Iman case, I would suggest facial surfaces only, aesthetic uh, changes more than functional. So that is that section done. Uh, and I will just give you a little bit of information on the composite flexibility that we're going to talk about. We have decided to offer a smart fast light option. So this is the stent only option. So for the last three years, we've always provided Empress Direct composite with our stents and it has been uh, our faithful composite and it has worked fantastically and beautifully. But we do realize that there are dentists who just love a different brand and they want to use their own composite and they don't want to pay for composite with the smart fast stent that they're not going to use because they have their favorite brand. So the stent only option means that you just get the stent, you don't get the composite or the optrigate. It works out roughly 40 pounds cheaper and you can see the prices on the screen there. Um, so it is a little bit more cost effective. And for associate dentists who have 
composite within the practice, you can use that and you're not getting charged an extra lab fee, which then you're responsible for. So it does work, uh, work better for, for many people. And for the dentists that do have a preferred composite they've been using for years, as long as it meets the criteria, which I'm going to go on to in a second, then that will work absolutely fine with a smart file stent and you can use that freely. Uh, and I think that the thing to say is that, you know, we recommend a nano hybrid or micro hybrid paste composite uh, because it does give the best combination of strength um, and it does give excellent aesthetics. Uh, they last very well, they shine up really nicely. Uh, and that's very important for kind of the longevity of the, the anterior smile makeover. Um, but it's really, really important, I think, that if you are going to use your own composite, that you have used it before in a heated technique. So you've used it in a similar technique, whether it be cementation of, of uh, veneers with heated composite or injection molding on posterior teeth with heated composite. You've tried it, you've tested it, you know that it heats, you know it becomes more um, fluid, the viscosity decreases and you're happy with the results that you get. That for me is the key. I wouldn't want you to just grab the stuff that's in the drawer, put it on a heater and expect it to work because it may not, okay? So you do need to have experience with that composite in a heated technique to, to use it and to feel confident using it. And, and a lot of us have been heating composite for years and, and we know which ones we like and which ones we don't. Um, and and as, as always, check with the manufacturer because there's a lot of the manufacturers out there have realized that heating composite is the way forward because of the, uh, the improvements in the, um, mechanics of the material uh, and and so they have actually done their own research on it independently and they have verified it to be to be okay to be heated um, so just have a check but don't heat it over 60 degrees because as you creep it past 65 that's when you start to see degradation uh, and, and chemical interactions within the composite and you get air bubble formation and things like that so just keep it at 60 degrees that's plenty warm enough to make it um, more or less viscous, sorry, and then it will work perfectly uh, as a as a injection or a pressure molded technique like we use. Okay, and there it is. There, smile fast stent in size edge down on the heater plate with the orange dome over the top to create an oven effect, no hotter than sixty degrees, and for no longer than approximately ten minutes. And please do not use a non-verified heater. For, for those of you who came on the early courses, uh, since then, we've done a huge amount of research into heating. Uh, we've bought, I would say 20 plus heaters and stripped them down and looked at the quality of the heaters and how well they disperse the heat. And we found, I think two, maybe three, that actually worked like they were supposed to, reach the temperature they were supposed to reach and had the temperature um, equalized throughout the whole hot plate and there were no hot spots whereas a lot of them they've got a, a, a centralized hot spot so if the composite sitting on that hot spot it could get up to 100 degrees and and it will just completely destroy the composite yet the composite on the edges of the heater might only get to 40 degrees average is, is 60 but not it's not equal throughout the whole hot plate so that's why we we provide this sorite heater in all our starter kits because it's tried it's tested uh, we've had independent tests done on it and it, it does what it's supposed to do so if you are heating composite please purchase one of these composite heaters we've tested uh, and you know just contact us and we can give you information on that okay so i think midi's going to now talk about the next development which is our portal system okay yeah thanks tom um, i think that was really interesting and there's been lots of questions coming in about the composite and about heating it and finding your own preference um, as tom alluded to you need to test your composites and um, some of the well-known brands that we know may not work as well in this heat technique so you know take our advice the ones that we've mentioned are the ones that we recommend, but of course, you know, do your own research and temperature wise, as Tom said, that's kind of where, where we're working at. Um, regarding the um, the portal, um, at this point, um, I told him I would do it. I'm not sure he's actually on the call. I think he is actually. Um, I'd like to introduce our fantastic, um, our fantastic friend and our sort of um, national manager. His name's Asif. Asif, are you on the call? 
Asif Nazir is the COO of SmileFast, which means he basically does everything. And he's an absolute legend of a guy. Um, he's been instrumental in the change in the SmileFast business. Um, so basically, he's allowed us to sort of streamline processes um, and actually improve the quality of um, care that we offer. So um, under his, um, his watch, um, we've now taken on a full-time software developer so we can constantly improve um, our portal and our online offerings. So some of the things that you'll see will be a direct result of, um, of some of the digital work that Asif is, um, is working on with his team. Um, so um, again, the workflow that you'll see on the portal will be familiar and the design, the refine and the direct stage, but there's now an unlimited image and SDL um, upload um, capacity. So again, those of you like Jasmine who did the first few courses would have realized that we struggled with getting all the STL files. So, you know, your, your digital scan files, we had a few issues with those, but we've worked through those now to the point that we never have an issue with that. Um, it's now easier to track the progress of your cases both online and with the constant email updates that you'll be getting. And they're sort of much clearer and much more systemized, okay? And all of this has allowed us to have a faster laboratory turnaround time. So again, we've got rough um, working times that we work towards, but the lab are really on top of their timing. So they're able to sort of predictably get the work when, when you need it. Okay, this is super exciting. And um, we've got a mobile application that's coming soon, okay? Gary has allowed me to say that because we've been badgering him for weeks and months, but um, it is coming soon. So this app is going to basically make all the functionality of the portal, the communication of the portal available um, on, on, on the tips of your fingers. Those of us that have labs where we directly communicate via an app or via our phone, I'm sure like, like me, you're, we're all busy clinicians. Logging into another portal sometimes, you know, just means another process, but you'll be getting your alerts on your phone, which should, again, streamline. And, and also it'll be a two-way communication thing as well. So more to come on that in, in the very near future. Um, just before I go on further, um, Asif, are you on the call? Are you avail available to join in um, later? If you give me a thumbs up or a message, then we'll, we'll let Asif sort of summarize a little bit about the portal as well. And um, so how does the portal help dentists communicate? So again, we get this a lot. A lot of people, and again, I'm sure some of them on this call don't use the portal as much or as effectively as they should. I think that's true of a lot of us. And what that means is that the case gets held at a stage. So like anything, good consent process, you've got to check with your patient. But likewise, the lab don't just want to make things without your consent. So you've got to follow the, the, the portal and the steps on the portal. Okay, so the portal, what do we do? So first we assess the case. We need to make sure that the case is suitable. That's usually in the design stage. However, we still do a, um, a form of this in the refine stage. So before we accept a case, we do wanna do a secondary check to make sure it's all okay. So the mentors, um, those of us that you've seen will be working tirelessly, quite often in the evenings doing the, um, their portal assessment. And we will refer back on suitable cases for an explanation. As dentists, we know that we're all different and our viewpoints are all different. So again, there may be a reason why you feel a case is suitable, but what we do is we have four or five summaries, okay? So as you can see, green are the simple cases, amber. Now, amber is a case that looks doable, but there's something that we feel that will actually either make it more challenging or if you fix it, it'll make the case easier and last longer. Red, again, is pretty obvious. These are multiple or more complex um, issues. So for example, let's say there's a case where we think there's a crossbite that you can't fix, okay, a functional problem, okay? Or a case where you've got unstable periodontal disease or caries. These are cases that we, we don't feel are in the, in the um, spirit of SmileFast and we will reject those cases, okay? Now, of the, you know, of the cases we get, it's less than 10% of cases are completely rejected. What we're seeing a lot now are the red cases under sort of some, you know, some suggestions will turn into an amber case. And in some cases, the amber cases will have the ortho or, you know, maybe some of the underlying um, diagnosis will be found. Then they become a green case. So that's really the workflow. Um, just to make it clear, these are some examples of some green cases. So really, these are going to be occlusion or um, dimensionally stable rest, um, teeth where we're adding facially and improving it for aesthetic reasons. So it's usually a color or a te teeth 
shape change issue. And there isn't usually a massive amount of underlying disease or one that is not unstable. Okay, the amber cases. So again, I think you can all pretty much see there's a functional reason. So some of them are orthodontic things. So a teeth in crossbite, a tooth is going to functionally be affected. Some of them are an aesthetic thing. So the, the image on the right-hand side in the middle, you can see the staining and the chips and the wear. So we need to think, right, how are we going to fix this long-term, okay? What if you've got a narrow buccal corridor? Is that something we can just add on buccally or do we need to widen with orthodontics first? Again, we'll mention that in our summary and then you will obviously have to decide how best to treat it. And then finally, the red cases. So if you can't see why these red cases, I'm calling the GDC on all of you tomorrow, okay? Because these are pretty obvious. These are cases that you can't easily place composite or place restorations and think they're going to last. I hope you can all see the perio case in the middle. Is that something that you would, you would do on your mum? your dad your sister you know we've got to do the right thing here and of course the functional cases where there is no restorative space you're on a hiding to nothing if you put composite on those because they're just going to chip and break off so again you know i think it's something that um you need to you need to be aware of okay and another little big shout out for mike partner in crime, Jasmine. So Jasmine, as you can tell, she's the boss. She has created this fantastic workflow for us all to follow. So as mentors, and I'm not going to name any names, we do have a few rogue mentors that try to do like crazy treatment plans. So what we're doing is we use this as a clear pathway for all of us to follow. Okay. And we've argued this between us as clinicians. And like all dentists, we've all got slightly different opinions, but this workflow allows us to come to a seamless um, explanation. So those of you that have had cases that have come back as red or amber, and you're concerned that we're just guessing, it really isn't that at all. We work through this together, and this is what's allowing us to have a systematic um, and balanced approach to our treatment plans. Okay, so again, just going on, Tom, so why is this so important? Um, yeah, hopefully you can see that that's why it was important. Thank you, Tom. Okay, um, course development. Okay, so this is where it gets super exciting. So the first course that we did is not the course that you see today. It's massively, massively different. And again, I'll hold my hands up. We didn't know everything that we needed to involve in the course. We've probably changed the course format about five times. And more importantly, we've changed the presentation maybe every three months, okay? So it's a massively different course. One of the biggest advancements that we're really proud about is that we've been able to take a lot of the theory out from the morning of the lecture and put it into a whole new online pre-course module, okay? You get to do this at your own leisure, at your own time. It is assessed, so I'm afraid you can't just go on to next, you have to pass, I think it's an MCQ of five questions. And if you pass the questions, you go on to the next section. Don't worry, you don't need a degree or an MSc to pass the questions, but they are relevant to the SmileFast concepts. That's allowed us to now have an eight hour hands-on lecture day. So you're gonna be learning didactically, but you're also gonna be learning by cases and you get a lot more hands-on experience. That just means that the course itself is a more valuable entity on the day. We've got brand new 3D printed typodonts and injection molded silicon gums. And I'm sure you can guess whose idea that was. So Tom, if you haven't guessed, that's what he loves. He's passionate about this. And he's researched all over the world to find the best on the most realistic materials to allow us to make this more predictable. As well as that, we've now worked on a specific design of the model of the, of the teeth that allows the stents to be placed in a reproducible way. So no longer we have to do heavy preps on the models so that we can place the stent. The stent is now replicating nature and actually makes the clinical experience much more relevant. So all in all, what this gives us is more time to place the stent, more time to finish the stent, and, and again, I'm gonna ask David Breton um, to jump in later on. We just did um, a course in Miami on Saturday and the results were staggering. I mean, it's really a joy to see people producing beautiful work on their first case. I think if I may maybe as well, just jump in here. One of the things that was so frustrating for, for, for me and, and Midi and Jasmine in the early days of SmileFast is that we were working on mass produced Typodon models uh, from, a, from a factory somewhere. And there was such a huge variation in them that 
the stents, you know, one stent would fit on one and it wouldn't fit on another and it would hang off another. And it wasn't giving a real life representation of what the SmartFast system can do because it is bespoke to your patient. So it fits perfectly. Um, so we had some 3D Typodonts made and we invested a huge amount in making those. And we were so pleased with them. The stents fitted really well, but because the gums were 3D printed, the actual material that the gums made from was also composite. So when you place the SmartFast, the teeth would stick to the gums and you would just get a horrible, horrible, chalky, nasty cleanup around the gums. And, and the feedback was, oh, you know, the cleanup was terrible. And again, so we fixed one problem. We made them fit better, but we created a monster, which was the composite sticking to the composite gums. And so now we've uh, in, had an injection mold made for silicon gums so now we've got the 3d printed typodonts but with silicon gums that doesn't stick to the composite and then bespoke stents and they fit as they would on a real patient everyone fits perfectly just like it does on a real patient so it gives the delegates a much more realistic experience of what the actual smart file system can do so i would just say for for those of you that did go on the early courses probably in the first 18 months 2019 2020 what you experience you experience the process and you learn the protocols but the actual physical result and the hands-on it is nothing like real life whereas now it is so yeah, if you haven't definitely. if you haven't placed a case because that was one of the barriers you should come on a refresher course because you will be amazed at, at how different it is now and you really will get that experience as if it was a patient in the chair um, so I just wanted to kind of, I've worked really hard on this. So I'm quite passionate about it. So that's why I had to, I had to chime in. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't show Tom. No one, no, one. <laughs> no, thank you, Tom. You're absolutely right. Um, okay. So this is what Tom's talking about. So these are the, they're just as accurate as we can get them. And again, you know, we are really proud of it. So again, we're going to mention, mention a little bit later um, for those who haven't experienced it and um, what it feels like to come again. So again, one of the things that, again, people ask is how, how easy is it to get the stent off? So as Tom is showing you here, the outer carrier is the hard um, carrier that flicks off. So you disengage that from the posterior. And once you disengage that, you then have the, um, the inner silicon, which you can gently tease off the teeth as well. Um, I think there's a question in, in there about um, refresher courses. We're going to come on to that in a second. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Sorry, my iWatch is talking as well. Um, looking at the excess, um, and this is just, again, one of the, um, to help our delegates, we've created, I think Asif has put it into the, um, the chat, we've created a lot of self-help videos. And one of these, both in the... Um, in the course, but also accessible afterwards is how to clean around the margins. So again, we've got a step-by-step -step process and a step-by-step -step video for those of us that either forget or aren't sure. And um, again, you can see how much easier it is. One of the issues we have obviously on the course is there's no water with the handpiece. So obviously you see all the chalk and the dust around. As well as this video, we've got another video like this. Get your lips together as you are. Um, yeah, so Kareem, you find the videos on the Google Drive link, which Asif has put into the chat. And this video is also on there. For those of us that aren't that confident taking um, digital photography, um, you need to do good photography if you want to get good results, okay? So um, this is one of our other mentors, um, Dr. Rajiv Rawa, who I've always on the call as well. And, she, and he's fantastic at photography, so he's created this video to help all of us just get consistently good photographs quickly. Okay, what's next? New offerings. Okay, so as Tom is excited about his stents, I'm excited about the international travel. And we've been really, really privileged to um, have been invited to America. And um, we met um, an American dentist who came over to the UK. My accents are dodgy, but he said, you guys have got to come to America. And we did. And, you know, lo and behold, it's been a success. We thought the Americans would just be concerned about ceramic work. But actually, there's a body of people that do feel that bonding or composite is an option for them as well. So we'd like to extend that invitation to any of our UK friends and delegates who would like to come abroad and do some international CPD. Or what did you call it, Tom? A tax deductible holiday. Tax deductible holiday. I don't think that's a term that the uh, that the inland revenue will appreciate. But the reality is, we have some international courses coming, and um, the next um, one of the next available ones with space is in Las Vegas on the fifth of November. Somebody, I think Kareem was it, that asked about our refresher courses. We have refresher courses available, and what we do 
is for our delegates, we only charge cost price. We're not interested in profit making because we believe so strongly that the product sells itself that we don't need to profiteer from it. So all you need to do is cover the cost of your of uh, cost the cost of um, attending, obviously, and your flights. So don't think you're getting uh, a free flight to Las Vegas for ninety nine. Um, pounds. Um, but please contact um, Joe. Joe is the mum of SmileFast. She is the um, the manager of the office and our headquarters, and she will be able to give you more details via the uh, info at SmileFast email address. Um, just to make it clear, it's not only refresher courses in Las Vegas. You don't have to fly to Las Vegas for a refresher course. We do do UK ones as well. Apologies. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> everyone, everyone wants to come to America, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, that is available for all our courses, as Tom said. Going the extra mile. So again, I'm in my clinic now. I'm a real dentist and I want something that works for me. I'm not going to name any names of any other brands, but I'm sure you know what I'm alluding to. It's got to be something that is mutually beneficial. So one of the things that we have developed is our clinic locator. Um, this is a locator that is postcode um, sensitive. And what it does is we create a di um, directory. So if any patients are looking on our patient focused website, they can simply type in and the, um, the local practices will come up to them. You'll get an alert from us directly, reaching out to you and um, introducing the patient to you. As well as the clinical locator, we're pleased to announce our Center of Excellent Accreditation Scheme. So these are for dentists or clinicians that are, you know, going above and beyond and producing really beautiful work on a consistent um, basis. Um, the office um, have a great relationship with all dentists, so they will contact you directly to invite you to be involved in our accreditation. There are lots of benefits from being involved in our accreditation with um, case-based discounts, but also actually um, you get a prominent place on the clinic locator as well. Going on to discounts, in this current climate, we appreciate that obviously financially things are going to be stretched for our patients and for us as clinicians. And um, I suspect that we'll find a lot more patients going for composite restorations as opposed to ceramic restorations. We also want to appreciate and say thank you to the people that have been so sort of um, diligent with SmileFast. So this is something that the SmileFast team are working on. So both um, Gary and Joe in the office will be um, reaching out to um, people that are interested in doing more SmileFast. We can work with you to increase your case numbers, teach you and give you uh, marketing material to help but also on the back of that, we can give both individual and practice-based discounts based on a certain volume of work. And yeah, just to show you quickly, this is how the clinic locator works. So that's our smile fast patient focused website. You simply click in your postcode, press go, or the patient would, and it comes up with a list. Don't go to the first guy because he's a bit dodgy. And then you look for whoever it is. That's obviously my, my name at the top. That's why I suggested that. So then the, the star donates if it's um, a center of excellence dentist as well. You simply contact the, um, the practice by filling in the details and you get an email which shoots directly across to you as well. Okay, so um, yeah, we, as you can see, we've got a new fantastic patient facing website, again, sort of um, overseen by a CIF, um, which is, is brilliant. Um, the new marketing material and resources. So again, we've just recently filmed a whole new um, list of marketing videos and, photo and photographs and leaflets. All of these will be available to you under the resources section in the portal. And of course, we've got some new exciting courses that we'd like you to explore as well. So delving on into those, you've already seen in the chat box, we've talked a lot about Smile Fast Restore. And some of the questions in the chat were, how do I treat tooth wear cases? Now, guys, it's not as simple as slapping on composite and building it to the perfect height. So you do need to get the diagnosis right. So that's what Smile Fast Restore will teach you, how to diagnose, how to treatment plan, and how to maintain these beautiful smiles. So not just one tooth dentistry, we're talking full mouth, or, or localized where we're going to teach you how to restore them with confidence. I would say for, for the dentists that have been submitting cases and they're finding that a lot of their cases are coming back as red cases or uh, red amber cases and, and they think to themselves, I'm not really sure why these cases keep coming back as red. You know, you might think they're relatively easy, but SmartFast seems to think they're red cases. That to me would suggest that there's extra learning to be had and there's, there's areas to improve upon understanding 
of diagnosis and management of tooth wear. Um, so definitely it's something to check out and uh, it's a two day course. Um, and what is taught is it's game changing because it's so applicable to real life dentistry. It's not just a, a load of concepts um, that are too difficult to actually access and to implement in your own practice. It, it's real life dentists talking about how to manage real life cases and make your dentistry uh, more predictable and last longer. So it's definitely, definitely worth checking out. Jasmine, you've actually done the course as well. Can you just share your thoughts on the course itself? Uh, yes, it was a fantastic course. Um, and it just gives you the opportunity also to be around other like-minded clinicians as well. So it was, it was a great couple of days because we really um, shared ideas and learned from very um, sort of experienced clinicians. And it just it enables you to kind of really take the smile fast system to another level. So it enables you to really start using it to its kind of maximum potential for slightly more complicated cases. So I highly recommend it um, for, for anyone who wants to be able to tackle those more involved, challenging kind of clinical situations. Nice. Smile fast indirect. Okay. So again, there are lots of patients who need, want, or can't uh, maintain composite. Composites are fantastic material, but let's all be honest, longevity wise, it's going to need maintenance. So there are some patients who have pre existing staining or oral hygiene that suggests that actually composite isn't going to be the right option for them. Or there are cases or patients with existing ceramic, which we're going to need to replace with ceramic as well. So you need to learn or know how to best prep and best temporize um, your ceramic cases. So we've got a, a bespoke course specifically with quite a unique concept from preparation to temporization to finalization. What we were finding is that consistently a lot of people would prep blindly, not prep enough. And then the aesthetic outcome was suboptimal. So we've worked with our laboratory and both Jasmine, Tom and um, Luke Hutchins as well um, are the main um, course leaders. And we've got a really nice system and you're getting the benefit of um, people that have been doing veneers or ceramic restorations for 15, 20 years. So really, it's a fantastic course for those that want to learn in a no sales, no pressure way. And again, it's not all ceramic. So we balance in the case where you could do it in in composite or in ceramic as well and then smile fast implants so this is something that we're really privileged to um, be involved with again following the smile fast concept of trying to make dentistry easier for all we're using our digital workflow to help us plan the aesthetic outcome we can't obviously do everything for you you still have to place the implant but we can plan it digitally we can make sure that you're in safe parameters. You'll have a case mentor for planning your case. As well as that, we actually teach you the hands-on element as well. So we have a restorative hands-on day, which is just for people who would like to feel confident restoring um, already placed implants. As well as that, we have the full diploma in implant dentistry. And that's heralded by um, Dr. Fazila Osborne Khan, who's one of the foremost implantologists in the country. And she's got a team of implantologists that will go through not just a normal year long course, but an actual diploma where you sit the Royal College of Surgeons at, um, Royal College of Surgeons in Scotland exam to be a qualified um, diploma implant dentist. So it really is a fantastic course from the beginning to the end so it's not for just your high level implantologist but it's also for the newbies of, of, of implant dentistry as well okay so we're also pr proud to announce that we've got a new smile fast laboratory headquarter with its own teaching facility you can see um our main lecture dr jasmine in the background there and she can see herself and what we this is one of our this is our lecture theater so we can see up to 30 delegates comfortably but then also downstairs you get to actually go to the lab and see your cases being worked on and you can see the process from start to finish both from the scans coming in to the design being done to the actual production of the stent so it's a really great facility for those of us in the midlands <clears throat> or accessible to birmingham and um, it's a great facility and we're going to be running more and more courses from from this location One other thing that we're um, excited to announce is that we have a lot of things that we want to do to make our workflow easier. So with SmileFast, we have a commitment to whitening. As Tom says, 
every patient in Essex has their teeth whitened. So it's something that we want to make sure our patients have access to. So we are very um, happy to announce that we've teamed up with Boutique Whitening. That means that any case that wants tooth whitening, you will get the Boutique Whitening gels and the trays via our system. So you don't need to go um, elsewhere to a different laboratory. You don't need to upload a separate scan. We will work directly with Boutique to provide that for you. And it comes in this beautifully branded kit and case. And again, that's for your patients um, at no extra cost to what we normally charge. Why are we doing it? It's just to improve our quality. It's great to be associated with great products as well. We use Boutique, we know it works in our hands and it's something we're happy to recommend to our SmileFast delegates. Um, center of excellence. So again, we kind of alluded to this and we're gonna share and hopefully we're gonna hear from some of our um, center of excellence um, team. When we started out with SmileFast, we didn't know how it was gonna work or if it was gonna make a difference to anyone's life or indeed even our own lives, but it's something that's become uh, part of my, our workflow so there are days now I'll look at a case and I think how did I ever do it without SmileFast because I don't want to be laboriously building up the palatal then the incisal then the dentine layer then the enamel layer there are many cases I'm getting far better and um, I had a patient yesterday his name's Nathaniel he came in three years after he's had his SmileFast and he said these teeth have changed my life it might sound cheesy, but it's a really powerful thing and using this um, this tool I'm able to get better results than I was getting before. And that's why we're, we're really proud to announce the center of excellence for those dentists that have actually been able to change their clinical practice to the point where they're getting amazing, amazing results. Um, so I'm gonna hand over to Dr. Jasmine to share a little bit more about our SmileFi Center of Excellence. Thank you, Mehdi. Sorry, guys, I was just responding to a message in um, the chat box. So um, we are talking all about how great the stent is and about some of the um, exciting updates that have been done. Um, I think it is very important to also acknowledge that it's been great all along and we have seen some phenomenally beautiful cases um, that some of your very own peers have um, been able to produce using the stent system and using the full workflow that, um, that Tom was describing. So we just wanted to show you guys, because obviously we always show you, you know, clinically kind of academically perfect um, images of cases that, you know, especially Tom has spent ages, you know, perfecting his photography for. So we wanted to give you um, the opportunity to also have a look at some cases carried out by um, your own peers. So um, we've um, developed something called the Smile Fast Hall of Fame. And these are some beautiful cases, um, obviously coupled with gorgeous photography. So it is really important when you start out doing these kind of cases, if you're not yet top of your photography game, definitely um, watch Rajiv's video and sort of start practicing your photography skills. So uh, Dr. Chetan is one of our, um, um, kind of um, center of excellence dentistry does some beautiful cases using um, the SmileFast system. So you can see here, that's just as Midi was saying, life-changing um, results for patients and all documented beautifully with these images. This is one of our very own Dr. Minor Patel's cases. She's one of the mentors with the SmileFast clinical team. Um, she's doing some gorgeous, gorgeous cases. Um, so there we go, you can see here again. Gary, I think, is actually on the call. So he's one of our um, Centre of Excellence um, clinicians. Really beautiful planning and execution, you can see. And these are all done using, you know, the original stent. It's not like we're suggesting that, you know, you can't do beautiful work. Um, we are just trying to make the workflow easier for you. The end result is, is always going to be phenomenal. Um, Another one by Dr. Chetan, you can see again, you know, these kind of situations where you can work minimally invasively for these patients and really achieve beautiful results um, in, a, in a predictable way. Here's another case um, carried out by Dr. Minnell. Um, lovely, lovely end results, beautiful polish. You can see lovely marginal finish there. So um, really kind of lovely end points for these, for these patients. Another case there by Dr. Chetan. Rajiv, 
the, the, the phenomenal um, photographer. He always takes these beautiful, slightly oblique views. I know Sonal's on the call, so she's going to appreciate me using the word oblique. Um, but you can see a really gorgeous result there for that patient who actually started out with very challenging kind of occlusal presentation there, but a lovely, full, bright, white, healthy looking smile for him there. And another gorgeous case by Dr. Chetan. Then moving on to one of Dr. Gary's um, cases. So again, just really being, being able to give people nice, fuller, brighter, healthier smiles in a minimally invasive way. And the great thing is with the workflow, there's no kind of surprises along the way because the patient knows what they're gonna end up with, that you're following through with that trial smile using the Smile Fast Refine. As the clinician, you've had as much input as you want into actually perfecting that 3D setup that then goes towards actually delivering that trial smile. So it makes it really, really, um, really, um, you know, predictable for your patients. This is another one of Dr. Minnell's cases. So, you know, these patients, we don't always realize how self-conscious they feel about their teeth and about their smiles and, and the difference that it can have, the impact it can have for those patients once we give them their, their kind of confidence back in their smile. This is another one of Dr. Rajiv's with his lateral smile views. And again, for um, Chetan, Many of you will know Chet, and I'm sure he's doing some gorgeous, gorgeous cases. Now, we often get the question, can we use SmileFars for lower teeth? And the answer is absolutely yes. Of course, you have to, um, I, I sometimes say it's not for the faint hearted, because I wouldn't necessarily suggest you start out using SmileFars on the lower teeth for your first case, but it can work beautifully. Um, you just need to make sure that you are um, planning in terms of the occlusion and the guidance, and you want to make sure you've got enough space in that anterior envelope of function. This is one of Thomas's um, juicy cases. You can see what a huge difference. So you can genuinely use the system for these complex cases, as long as you're confident both in delivering the actual kind of protocol itself, but also managing that patient's occlusion. Um, again, a beautiful case done by um, Gary there. And this is a really interesting case, actually. Tom always comes up with the really kind of super juicy cases. So sometimes we look at these kind of teeth and we're kind of thinking, right, how are we going to get the gingival margins improved? What are we going to do? Can we do some ortho or can we do some surgery? And if you want to go kind of without surgery, sometimes you just don't have enough surface area on the teeth to actually be able to physically align these teeth very easily. Maybe you have to start thinking about where you're gonna get your anchorage from, are we gonna to have to use TADS, things like that. So what Tom did here was he actually increased the size of the teeth first using SmileFast, and then is now aligning the teeth and he's gonna be intruding those upper centrals and actually extruding um, the laterals a little bit as well. So kind of meeting in the middle. So improving the gingival margin levels and symmetry um, following on from having actually increased the size of the teeth. So that can work really, really well. So those are just some examples of um, cases that we put in our Hall of Fame, just to kind of hopefully inspire you all um, so that you can see those are cases being done by your very own peers. And we would love to have as many of you um, as possible kind of sharing beautiful results like that. Thank you, Jasmine. That's really, really kind. Um, so guys, we've shown you amazing cases, right? But what about the difficult cases? What about the challenges? Um, we know that not everyone gets cases like these first time. Can we help? Can we help you to get results like this? Can we help reduce post-op staining? What about air bubbles? What about long-term degradation and just finishing the margin? So this session is really just to introduce how we can help, okay? We're gonna share some stories, but also we're gonna open up. We're gonna be finishing in around 20 minutes, so please try and hang on. But we're gonna have um, sort of an open question um, session where people can ask questions. If we don't get to answer all your questions now, we'll send you a reply by email or um, later on as well. And again, so these are some of the golden rules that you need to do to improve your end results. Those of you that aren't currently doing this, try to make sure that you like your, your final layer of composite with the oxygen inhibition layer. It's a no brainer. And I think what a lot of people do is they actually start polishing first and then maybe remember, try and put the glycerine layer on once you're happy with the shape of your composite and cure through that first, okay? Then you know you've got a very nice um, seal before you start polishing around. So that's rule number one or tip number one. And um, curing. So again, it may sound obvious, but how many of us let our nurses like cure? Are they doing it properly? Are they doing it accurately? So again, just a very quick summary, make sure you get the best quality light cure that you can or that you can afford. 
Okay, it needs to be above a certain um, power output. You need to make sure that the tip of your light is clean. These are some of the names that, again, many of you will know. You heard of the Smart Light, the Ivor Clark Blue Phase Power Cure, the Velo, I'm sure we all know of. But many of you may not have heard that the Woodpecker ILED actually has the right um, intensity and the right wavelength. And again, did you know that different shades of composite get cured at different wavelengths? So if your light cure is a narrow spectrum, you might find that actually the newer shades or the brighter shades may not be fully cured. That has an effect on the long-term dimensional stability as well. And if you don't remember anything, remember this, distance, duration, direction, get close enough, long enough, and accurately enough. We recommend a minimum of a minute per tooth surface. And that's something that, again, that's a golden rule that we really advocate. Okay, staining. Again, the obvious ones are dietary. Okay, turmeric is your worst enemy. Ask me how I know. Okay, I've been there. I've forgotten to tell the patient. And she went straight out and had a yellow curry. And lo and behold, she had yellow teeth afterwards. It is possible to come back from it, but I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. Okay, so the best thing is to scare your patients. Tell them two weeks is a hard rule and they have to live like a saint. Okay, they can't eat anything highly colored. The reality is they probably won't do it for two weeks. They may do it for a week, but in that period, they are going to be ultra cautious. Okay, and the reason we get the staining is although we think we fully light cured, we know that between a third and two thirds of the outer layer of composite hasn't fully cured despite our best intentions. So that outer layer can pick up all sorts of staining. And it's really important that those two weeks you really very careful. Okay, so um, getting a good external finish, and this really comes down to the tips, okay, the clinical tips. First, knowing what you're trying to achieve and actually taking the time to do it, but also using the right tools. So as you can see here, we're using a very, very fine diamond to get right into those interpoxable and the gingival overhangs, just to make sure we get a really nice polish. We have a finishing protocol that we give, and also we've got a sheet. Use every step of the guide. Don't miss anything out. Don't try and rush it. Um, you'll get better with SmileFast with time. You don't need to start by trying to do everything in an hour or 45 minutes, okay? Um, Jasmine just mentioned in the group, no, no coffee as well. I think that's true. There's lots of other things that you've got to avoid in terms of staining. Yeah, Tom? Okay. So for cleaning the interproximal join between restorations, I use my seri strip and I put it down into the gap. It's going to be quite loud, guys. And then I shoot my sickle scaler against my separating strip and just scrape upwards from gingival to incisal. It's quite an intense noise as Jasmine. But what we're trying to show you is you've got to get a super, super polished finish. So I actually separate my teeth like and you make sure I either use a sickle scaler or a 12C scalpel. Move it the other just way. Very, very gently, like I'm doing a hygiene, just go around the margin just to make sure I've got a super, super smooth finish. Right. That just means if I can get something smooth down there, the patient can get something smooth down there. One of the questions we get asked after this as well is, how about my contacts? Am I able to get good contact points on my composite? And on, on my smile fast rather. And I think the next video. Yeah, I was just going to say quickly, Midi, I think that the sickle scale is probably the most underutilized instrument. It, it's so good at clearing up the excess. And uh, and like you use there, it, you know, people that people go to grab a burr, yeah. but a slight slip of a burr and you can make a little notch in the composite. Whereas the sickle scaler will, because the, the, the design of the veneers is so tight to the tooth, that excess does just flake away. So using that sickle scaler is, is a really powerful tool to, to get practiced with. Uh, now I will go onto the contact video, sorry. No, 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 great point, Tom. It's really good. because And you also got that hand feel. It's a lot yeah. more tactile as well. And yeah, so, oh, sorry, Jasmine, question? I'm just showing how. Let me do this. Sorry, again. guys. I just wanted to say there's an instrument made by LMR called Excesso, yeah. um, and it's incredible. It looks like a sickle scaler, but it's specifically for this purpose, and it is divine. So if you are someone who wants to get a really smooth finish and is maybe, as Tom suggested, you know, less able to do so with a burr, then think about getting that instrument. It's not particularly pricey, and I think, is it Optident that does LMR? Yeah, I can't I think remember. It is. Yeah, it's a beautiful instrument, so yeah, think about that. Yeah, thanks. And yeah, just a little tip for cleaning the and then just back onto the video. So this is the immediate after. Contacts are with smile fast 
that has been had lots of gaps between the teeth before. Now this is after immediately after the smile first open wide, yes, man. And then you can hear that little noise there. So if we establish contact there, there. Cool, we can move on from that point. But Tom, I think um, it's pretty clear that the way that we design SmileFast is to re-establish contact points and to establish them perfectly. So again, people just think it's just a stent, isn't it? But actually the design takes into account that the teeth will be separated and the contacts will come back in. And we've designed that into the actual 3D designs. So there's no guesswork involved. That is part of the end result. Um, has anyone heard of this product it's called Magic Mix? This is just one of the things that we recommend to help you get those center of excellence like finishes, okay? So as we all can imagine, the best results take time and the polishing, if you do it properly, will, 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 will be brilliant. But this Magic Mix is a pre-polisher, okay? Now you can get this from Henry Shine and Optident and a few other well-known makes. But the reason I like this is after you've done your final cure, after you've done your initial polish, so we use a pink pre-polisher or a, or, a, or a disc at the point, you then use this in a cup with either a brush or a cup, a polishing brush. And all you do is very gently under low pressure, just polish the margins. Now it has, as you can see, little filler particles in there that really polish down your restoration even more beautifully. When you then use your final polisher, either of polishing paste or your white ease twist, twist polisher, you've got a, a much more homogenous surface. And what we were finding before with that patient, sorry, dentists were rushing to go to finish their polish and the surface of the composite had lots of little bumps in it. Well, obviously that will pick up stain. So I can't stress enough how important that last slide was because you, if, you, if you go too fast on the polishing, your results will be suboptimal. So slow down on your polishing the pink pre-polisher, the, um, the magic mix or some similar, magic mix is the best one that we found. And then you go on to your final polishers. So this is our advanced polishing kit. Now in reality, the white middle rubber wheel is all that you need for the majority of cases. But if you need or want to put in a little bit more, you've got the goat's hair brush and you've got the Eve Twist diamond polish paste. So again, if you think about it, all of these are finer and finer particle contents. So the lower down you go, the higher the polish that you get. So if you want um, your case to look like Tom's and, and the like that we've shown, don't miss out a step, okay? The more steps you put into your polish, the better your patient's results will be. Okay, we're coming on to the last little bits, guys. So um, a couple of points. If you've got your phones, I think this will work. You can take a picture on your phones now. If you haven't, we'll send this link out later. This takes you onto our SmileFast store. I think it works, does it, Asif? Yes, it does. So if you click on that link, it should take you onto our online. Yep, the link does work. Thank you, Miguel. Um, it takes you onto this link where you can access any of the um, products that we recommend or that we offer. And again, it's a very simple way, particularly when you're busy in practice with your nurses and your team, you can just simply go on there and order things as you run down or you need more of them. Okay, so what's next, Tom? Do you want to do this bit, Tom? Yeah, yeah. So this this is a this is the first look at the uh, smart fast heater that will be launching. I hope in the new year. Uh, so as you can see, it's a circular heater uh, which has this very cool strobing uh, color changing light underneath it. Um, and what this actually does is it heats your dental materials to three temperatures. So it's got a touch sensitive button and each time you press the button, it changes the color of the flashing light underneath to show that it's heating to those temperatures of 40 degrees, 50 degrees or 60 degrees. When it reaches the temperature, the light becomes solid. Um, you can heat your anesthetic solutions in there. You can heat your endodontic uh, irrigation solutions. You can heat any form of composite, whether it be in compules, syringes or in guns. Uh, it has restoration wells in it, so you can load your crown or veneer restorations if you're using a heated composite technique. Um, it has a special shape which encompasses around the SmartFast stent, so you get very, very good heating of the SmartFast stent. And it also has uh, slots on the side of it and a shape that supports 
a full sized occlusal mirror or the uh, little intraoral mirrors so you can keep those hot as well. Um, it's got so you're awful... not passionate about this either, are you, Tom? No, 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 no. I, I whipped it together over a weekend. <laughs> I really did. Um, so... This has taken about a year and a half to develop because we wanted it to be perfect. So it, we wanted it to do exactly what it was supposed to do and be super easy to use. Uh, everything's controlled by lights. It's got little light markings on the front of it that say what it's for and the temperature. So depending on what you press, you can see what <clears> temperature you're at. You don't have to remember anything. Uh, it turns itself off after a certain period of time. So you can't cause any problems with it. And if you've got it on a hotter temperature and you need to turn it down, it will flash red until it reaches the lower temperature. So you know you're not going to heat your anesthetic to 60 degrees or anything like that by mistake. Uh, so, so great bit of kit, isn't it, Tom? So I think once we once we it's ready, we're gonna share share a bit more information. We about will, it. we will, we will. Um, so another exciting development, we've got a fully integrated orthodontic solution coming soon so many people have asked us about it and you can tell that ortho is a massive part of our treatment planning we're fortunate to have the likes of jasmine david breton and of course um miguel polonia who is our head of alignment when it comes to our cases and together with um a soon to be revealed um company and system we've got something really exciting that will streamline our workflow all from the same planning aspect. So more details to come on that. We're just trying to whet your appetite on that as well. Okay, and um, those that want any more info on any courses in particular, please um, send us an email on the info at smilefast.com. The new stent is now live as of yesterday. So cases going forward will have this stent. Don't forget the um, Smilefast light or the stent only option if you just want that again just make sure you're happy with the composite material that you are are using and of course the new portal please give us feedback much like the new the last portal tell us things that you like things that you'd like to improve again if you haven't done the restore or the indirect courses i'd highly recommend it Many of you have asked about the center of excellence status as well. And again, um, I'm sure it will be a C4 Joe will reach out to you um, individually on that. Please send us an email if you are interested. And um, I'd like to finish off before we do a bit of a question and answer session by inviting one of our CEO, cent center of excellence um, guys to speak. And I hope he's not going to let me down. But Rob Young. Yeah, you, you are there. Rob, um, I'm just added you on. Um, you don't have to share your camera if, unless you're looking decent, but if you are looking decent, feel free to. Um, Rob, are you there? I, I am, yes. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Hi, Rob. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I can't turn on my camera, but that might be a good thing. Um... <laughs> um, Rob, just in a couple of minutes, and again, you know, can you just share your experience with SmileFast, please? Yeah, so I first did the SmileFast course, I think, in 2020 in um, Manchester. It was during lockdown, I remember. And um, I'd be the first person to put my hand up saying I, was, I wasn't I was great or confident in doing freehand composite veneers. And what I love about the SmileFast system is the predictability that you get with it. I'm almost, I can guarantee basically um, a good result almost every single time um, I do it. And um so I started off with uh, the simple cases, the three to three cases, and then um, they just started coming out really, really good. Um, and then, um, yeah, start, then, then quickly moved on to um, for large cases. And now routinely I'm, I end up, I'm ending up doing um, sort of full mouth top and bottom five to five um, cases. Um, I think this, um, the, following the protocol of course it's just so easy it's made it really easy for me to um to produce good work that patients love and then ultimately the word just spreads like wildfire so um i'm finding now that i'm i'm doing about three or four uh, or f three or four ca cases a week now which is really good um i'm happy with that so um yeah and it's just giving me the confidence to take on these 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 bigger cases um in in a short space of time and the, the lab support is uh, amazing um so they're always there to kind of help and give their advice so yeah oh rob thank you so much man i didn't expect you to be so kind but i really appreciate your feedback and um if you haven't seen rob's work i think you might have seen some of the cases today 
it's a beautiful workflow that he's got and he's systemized it and made it predictable um, for him, which is really fantastic. And um, so thank you, Rob. Um, Tom, do you want to go to the next slide? So these are just some of, I think most of, but not all of our C uh, center of excellence guys. So they're all smiling and they have not been paid any money to pose for this photo, but this is really um, just an example. And we tie it in with a little bit of extra training on the day. And then obviously we support and we support and um, help help um, the guys um, on their smile fast journey. But really it can be for anybody. It's not, um, you know, a certain, click or an exclusive group it's just for general dentists that find this works um in their workflow and um, gary i know is gary lunt's definitely on the call i think ravi might have been on the call as well i'm not sure and um, i won't embarrass them now but um, i'd like to thank them for sort of sharing case and actually helping us we've got um, a specific um um whatsapp group for for anyone who is on the center of excellence where we share cases we improve each other and we come up with new advancements so we tested the new stent on 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 these guys for tested probably the wrong word but we worked on it together and then went from there um so yeah um, i think we're coming up to the end and a couple of questions we'd like to open up but final thing out for me i think i'd like to say is number one don't forget the info at smilefast web um email address if you want to know more, if you, even if you just want a Zoom call with the team, you want to know about the um, Center of Excellence or the case-based discounts, or how we can help make your SmileFast journey easier, do you get in touch? We've also got a Facebook group, which is a SmileFast Facebook group. I'm sorry, SmileFast Study Club group. Again, some of us are a little bit shy. We don't always want to send our cases in. So you can put a general picture up and you'll get advice from not just us, but the center of excellence guys and other dentists that are doing smile fast. So I hope that's been useful um, from myself, Tom and Jasmine. I'd like to thank you for your time. Um, Tom and Jasmine, over to you before we do any final questions. Um, I would just like to say, yeah, that it, what's been really lovely over the last three years is, is seeing um, dentists like Rob come on the course with very little confidence to do composite veneers and within a two year period go from someone who who dabbled and you know did a little bit here and there to now being confident to approach formal rehabilitation cases with composite and ceramics to give their patients predictable life-changing results in a two-year period by following the smile fast pathway of education that's that's incredible and we see it time and time and time again and it's it's a lovely thing to witness and it's lovely to to see the cases and that's why we create the hall of fame because it's just so wonderful to see how people have taken the system that Midi and i thought about you know over a glass of wine a couple of years ago and now it's life-changing to, to them as dentists and to their patients uh, so i really just do want to echo Midi's thoughts and say thank you to them and also to all the delegates who who have come on the course and who have given us the feedback because it's that feedback that's driven us to make the improvements uh, and improve everything and and never never be satisfied and continually continually try and be better in every aspect of smart faster and that's that's where we're here today so yes thank you all uh, ever so much i don't know if jasmine's got anything to say oh thank you yeah no just thanks all of you for um coming this evening and also for being so engaged and asking so many um really interesting questions it's always lovely to see you guys again and there are so many familiar names in the chat box which is lovely um we really are here to help and as as tom and midi have both said like what's lovely for us is that if you practice using the system, start with sort of simple cases, don't try and ta tackle really difficult cases to begin with, start with simple cases, just like you did when you were at university, you didn't do your first root canal treatment on a lower right seven that had already had a failed root canal treatment, I'm hoping, you started on a nice anterior single rooted tooth. So please do the same with your smile fast cases. And we're there to kind of help and kind of support you um, through the process. But if you practice, um, then you can really use it to improve the um, predictability of your cases and also just to be doing fun dentistry that is a pleasure and just having that impact on your patient's confidence and the way they live their lives it's just um it just makes what we do feel so worthwhile so yeah i really hope that you kind of feel inspired and you start using the system more
Thank you so much. We're going to have a quick question and answer session. I appreciate it's nine o'clock and lots of people want to go. So that's the, the session over and covered. Anyone that wants to hang on and ask any specific questions or just share some feedback, feel free to hang on. But to anyone that's um, you know heard everything they need to, look forward to seeing you on a refresher course in Los, in, in Las Vegas. Ninety-nine pounds, but pay for your own flight. Um, but yeah, I think Gina, um, you've had your hand raised. Did you want to ask a question or share something? Maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you had a question. No, sorry, sorry. I think I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, well, but it's it, it was very interesting. I really like everything that you introduced today. Your partnership with Boutique is going to be fantastic, I'm sure. So no, I'm really looking forward to trying the new stand. Oh, amazing, amazing. Thank you, Gina. Well, I'll let you get off, but um, um, Jasmine, I think well, there are a few questions in the question that we could answer live, maybe. Um, I am just processing them. Uh, uh, are you looking in the chat box, Midi? And the, the Q&A, there's one from Usama. Oh yeah, in terms of what's the difference between the refresher course and the standard smart fast course. My understanding is that once you've attended the smart fast course, if you feel like you really want a refresher, then you can attend again um, as a refresher, as a one-off um, sort of situation. And it's a heavily discounted fee just to kind of help you feel motivated to do it. That's exactly right. And then there's one more question is there, Jazz? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm literally just about to press send on that one. Okay, I think we can answer live so we can just answer. Okay. So the question is, can I choose the composite or will we recommend? So up until now, we've always been supplying the um, composite with the case, but now you are actually able to, if you specifically want to, you can request to receive the stent without the composite and then use your own composite of choice. Obviously we would um, ideally recommend that you're still using a nanohybrid composite that is very polishable and that has good luster retention because that's what we find, you know, some materials like Venus Power, which is a beautiful material to work with um, in many cases, in many situations dentally, doesn't necessarily have good luster retention um, if you're using it anteriorly. So you'll spend ages polishing it, they'll come back for a review and it looks very matte. So it is important that you're choosing a composite that's suitable for um, what you're using it for. Oh, perfect, Jasmine. Thank you very much. Um, any other questions from anybody in the room? Um, um, no, Tom, did you want to mention anything else about upcoming courses? No, no, I think that we, we've covered everything. Um, as I say, the refresher courses uh, are it, basically you just you're just coming to the smart fast course again, but you're you're only paying. 99 pounds plus back because you've, you've come before. Um, anybody who hasn't done the Smart Fast course in the last six months, it will be a different course to what it is now. So if you went six months ago and you haven't done a case and you think, okay, I need to go back and see what it's all about and have another go with the stent because I perhaps I got too much excess or I didn't feel like the stent seated properly or I didn't understand something. Then, then it, it's well worth it. You know, you're getting 12 hours of CPD um, and uh, a whole a whole day and lunch, all for 99 pounds plus VAT. So uh, I, I would I would recommend it. Uh, and as I say, if you came within the last six months, the course will be the same as what you're used to. Six any any earlier than six months ago, and it will be a totally different course with new, completely new slides, new material, loads more information, and hopefully that will help answer some of the questions that may have been holding you back from implementing this technique and I think the best thing to do is just send some emails and and, and talk to the team we've got a big office team who will, will be going through the emails and answering questions and sending them to the clinical mentors to answer you personally so if there are if there are questions that you want to hold back and, and ask us privately you know please do so because that's what we're here for um, it's all about everybody getting better at dentistry and feeling more confident with what they can provide their patients so that's 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 the main aim no thank you tom we are going to also be doing a few different courses we're going to be at the bacd in november and i think that's at celtic manor so in wales i, I believe so we're going to be there um doing a hands-on day on the 10th thursday the 10th as well as um, maybe doing a, um, a bit of speaking as well. So um, we look forward to seeing and meeting you all at an event soon. And again, as Tom said, just want to thank everyone. Um, so I think that's it for today. And um, we'll call this meeting to a close. Um, Asif is going to make sure that this recording is available to everybody. 
and also off the back of this for those of your colleagues or friends who have missed this share the link with them and we're also going to do some separate question and answer sessions so anyone that would like to join on the question and answer sessions on a different date again you can come on and just maybe have some pre-written questions or specific questions that you want to fire off and maybe even we can do and um, what do you reckon jazz maybe a case-based discussion yeah that would be great yeah so we'll share cases together we'll pick a case and we'll go from there Guys, right, um, guys. getting lots of questions about the course dates. Um, can they just check those online at smartfast.com? Yes, they can. I think they can book them now as well, Jazz, on, okay. on online on the um, on the site. Yeah. Brilliant. Good. All right, guys. I think if that's all the questions answered, Jazz. I think we're going to say good night to everyone. Perfect. Thank Take you all time. so much for your time. Thank you, Jasmine. Thank you, Midi. And uh, see you all soon. See you um, soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye, guys.